This video is presented by Mexico Insider and Concepts and Consulting International. The origins of textile art in Oaxaca can be traced back to the Zapotec and Mixtec civilizations that flourished long before the Spanish conquest. Using backstrap looms, the early inhabitants of Teotitlan del Valle crafted garments and textiles that were more than mere adornments. They were imbued with symbolic significance and used in various ceremonies and rites of passage. The materials used such as cotton and agave fibers were sourced from the natural environment, and the colors were derived from local plants, insects, and minerals creating a palette that is in harmony with the land. The textiles of Teotitlan del Valle are a living testament to the enduring Zapotec legacy. The Zapotecs, with their advanced civilization dating back over 2,000 years, left behind a wealth of knowledge in astronomy, architecture, and arts, with weaving being among their most enduring legacies. Wow, qué lindo. Mire, este es nuestro pequeño taller familiar. Son este, los telares grandes a donde se hacen los tapetes del largo que la gente quiere. Dos, tres, veinte metros si quieren. Y de ancho también se puede porque se pueden unir las piezas. Y entonces ahorita tenemos uno aquí sin hilo para mostrarles desde el principio cómo se hace. Esto es el telar. Master weavers in Teotitlan del Valle are held in high esteem, recognized not only for their exceptional skills, but for their role in preserving and evolving the art of weaving. The stories of these master weavers often begin in childhood, learning the basics of the craft at the tender age. Their narratives are rich with experiences of how they have honed their craft over decades, often recounting how particular patterns or techniques came to be. Synchronization. Ay, no puedo. Dale vuelta. Es complicado, eh? Okay. Para atrás. No. Para atrás. Para adentro. Hacia sí, atrás, sí. Ah, yeah. Okay. Hey, ¿Por qué no puedo? Pull out with your left hand, but just gently. Okay. Se acabó. Muy rápida. Muy rápida. In Teotitlan del Valle, weaving is more than an individual endeavor. It is a family affair. Workshops are typically family-run, with each member playing a specific role in the production process. These workshops are hives of activity where knowledge and labor are shared among men, women, and even children, each contributing to the completion of a textile. Loom weaving in Teotitlan del Valle is a centuries-old tradition that is central to the cultural and economic life of the village. The most traditional form of weaving in Teotitlan is done on hand looms, also known as pedal looms. Lo, lo vamos este, jalando de ahí arriba. Y ahorita pues nada más le faltan los perales a esto. Pues cada vez que lo vamos jalando... These are typically made from wood and operated by the weaver's feet, which control the tension and movement of the warp, while their hands interweave the weft. Por eso tiene esta textura. Ay, quiero. Porque normalmente si ustedes ven los tapetes son como los. Ajá. Pero este, miren, si ustedes lo tientan. Tiene otra textura muy diferente. Wow. Yoga mat. Yeah. A mí me regalas yoga mat. Sí, con gusto. Perdón, señor Javi, puedo tocar, porque yo hago yoga. No entiendo cómo. 
Tú no necesitas para llevar un... Claro, pero que algo que no se mueve. Sí, pero... ¿Ah, sí? Porque atrás... Bueno, pruébalo, dame uno. Ah. Atrás está liso. ¿Cómo? Atrás del tapete no está boludo. Atrás está como tosco. Luego, la lana como que te da energía. Ajá. Es calor, pues. De dormir. <risa> ¡Qué locura! ¡Quiero! Y luego, este. ¿Eso cuánto tiempo te toma? Este un mes. Ay, Dios. Porque es de 80 <risa> por un metro. Va. The warp is the set of lengthwise threads that are held in tension on a frame or loom, while the weft is the thread or yarn which is drawn through the warp yarns to create cloth. The dyeing process of textiles in Teotitlan del Valle is an art form in itself, steeped in tradition and closely tied to the natural environment of the Oaxaca region. The weavers often start with natural fibers such as wool or cotton, which are known for their ability to take on dyes as well. Entonces, ahorita, pues, como lo, la mayoría de estos lo hacemos en fermento, pero también ahorita le quisimos también enseñar algo de, de hervido, uh -huh. que también se puede. El hervido, igual no ocupamos químico, na, todo natural. The colors used in Teotitlan textiles come from natural sources such as plants, insects, and minerals. The colors are extracted by boiling the natural materials in water. The time it takes to extract the dye can vary depending on the material. ¿Qué es eso? Es un fermento. Fermento de... Mi mamá pinta hilo de color. A ver. Para... Ah. Este color... Proviene de esta planta. Ah, ok. Se llaman cacho de venado. Entonces eso hay que fermentar para pintar el hilo. Sí, pero si lo fermentamos ahí se hace más rápido. Si lo dejamos fermentado en esas ollas de barro que tenemos allá, se hace un poco más lento, pero el color es más natural y fuerte. Ah, Pensé que es para tomar. <laughs> a mordant, which is a substance that combines with the dye to fix it to the fiber, is often used to ensure the color's fastness. Common mordants include alum and iron, which also can affect the final hue of the dye. The yarn is then submerged in the dye bath, where it soaks up the colors. The duration of this process can vary depending on the desired intensity of the color. What is the Porcelain? Okay, ¿va adentro? Sí, adentro. Uh, there's a drink, I was at a bar that was called Porcelain. Uh -huh. <laughs> y lo vas a puchar con, la, con el palito, lo vas a empujar hasta abajo. Remember, it's with that sexy man. Ooh. Oh, wow, noodles. Parece spaghetti. <laughs> No, that's well done. Asian food tonight. <laughs> After achieving the right color, the yarn is rinsed in clean water and hung up to dry. The art of textile weaving is not only a cultural hallmark of Teotitlan del Valle, but also a pivotal component of its economy. The economic impact of this traditional craft ripples through the local community and beyond, influencing patterns of commerce, tourism, and social development. Weavers sell their products locally and increasingly to international markets, with many families depending on the trade for their primary source of income. The textiles are sold in various forms from raw fabrics to finished products like rugs, blankets, and clothing. Tourism plays a significant role in the economic impact of Oaxacan textiles. The influx of tourists provides a significant boost to the economy. Market pressures present a formidable challenge, especially with the proliferation of copycat products. 
mass-produced items that imitate the designs of Oaxacan textiles but undercut their value and price are a threat to the livelihood of authentic artisans. Additionally, there is a need for education and advocacy to inform consumers about the value of authentic pieces, the work that goes into them, and the cultural significance they carry. Gracias! Que lindo! Ooh. I would do that. Gracias! Wow! It's like not just chorizo and I see a lot of fun here, but maybe they just use it for the A mezcalabrita. Papa's for the Today. On the next episode of this trip to Oaxaca, I am going around the city to eat, eat, and eat. So what's it like eating food from a Netflix show? <laughs> to do a Tlaidos Cheers. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe on this YouTube channel or follow live updates on Instagram.